Okay, in this part of the DVD, we're going to go through the ABCs. We're going to learn how to fingerspell. Now, fingerspelling is a lot more than just knowing your ABCs, okay? Knowing A, B, C, D, E, F, G doesn't teach you how to spell. I know kindergartners know their ABCs, but don't know how to write. Let me teach you, just before I give you the letters, some things about writing with your hands, okay? Which is really kind of what finger spelling is. First of all, the placement of the hand. Your hand needs to be even with your mouth, okay? And the reason for that is that the deaf will oftentimes read your lips and read the finger spelling at the same time. I don't know how they do that, but they do. And if your hand is up here or down here or over here or somewhere else, then they can't do that. All right. Second thing is the palms should be out. All right. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. See how my palm is always facing you. The only example I can think of that's different than that is H. In which case the knuckles are out to you. Okay. Now. The reason why I say that is because somewhere in our mind, I have seen this a dozen times, people want to do C sideways so they can see the letter C. And the same thing with the letter O. The palm is always out. So it's C and O. Got it? Now, if you're a first timer, there are some things that... that uh, are very, very common mistakes. One of them is bouncing. The most common thing people do wrong in fingerspelling is bounce. Like, hi, my name is Paul. All right, see that bouncing? Think about this. You're on, a, you're on a, you're in a, an old pickup running down a country road and you're trying to read a book. And the book doing like this. All right. Well, that's the same effect of what you'd be giving in communicating with a deaf person if you bounce your signs. When you sign, your elbow should stay in the same place. So long as your elbow is in the same place, you're signing probably, you're not going to make any of the next set of uh, mistakes I'm going to go through. If you'll just keep that elbow still, Hi, my name is Paul. Okay? Uh, no throwing the signs. Another one is, Hi, my name. And it's the same thing as what bouncing is, only it's in and out. It's like having the book go in and out, in and out. Uh, no what I call sky writing. You know, you've seen the banners that go across the sky being trailed behind a an airplane. It, Hi, my name is Paul. Don't do that. If your name happens to be Paul, that's fine. But if your last name happens to be Lemons, whoops, my arm is just long enough to do that and my elbow had to move. You keep it here and here in the same place. Uh, no saying the letters. This one is really tough, especially for the little ones. Okay? So, there are a number of ways around this. Don't say H-I-M-Y-N-A-M-E-I-S-P-A-U-L. Okay? It's even hard for me to do that. Uh, I've, I've gotten so far away from it. But if you're doing that, please stop. Okay? It's like trying, again, taking it back to the reading the book. If you're reading a book and it says T-H-E-C-A-T-J-U-M-P-E-D-O-V-E-R, you know, you don't read that way. And the deaf, when they're reading your fingerspelling, are reading your fingerspelling in the same way that you read words. You see the cat, okay? You see those things. You don't see the letters. In the same way, the deaf, when they see, they see the cat, okay? They don't see the letters. So don't say the letters. 
Now the best way to do it is to speak at the same time. Hi, my name is Paul. Okay? If you can't do that, and sometimes it's impossible, the way God put our brains together, for us to be speaking two languages at the same time. You can also say, Hi, my name is Paul. Or you can say, Hi, my name is Paul. You can do it before or after you fingerspell. Okay. Uh, so, don't say the letters. Uh, no pausing between the letters. You almost have to bounce the pause. Run them all together. All right. No looking at your hand. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to my hand. Okay? It's not a puppet. So, when you're finger spelling, it's not. You don't need to look at your hand. Your hand and you have been connected for probably all your life. You know what your hand is doing. Leave it over here. Your peripheral vision, if you have to think of it that way, can see it. But don't look at your hand. Look at the person you're talking to. Um, no um, looking at the ceiling or the floor. If you forget a letter, you forgot a letter. Guess what? There, it's not written on the ceiling and it's not written on the floor. Don't go there. Okay? All right. I'm thinking, that's about all the rules for finger spelling. Don't remember all the no's, though. Remember the one yes. Your elbow stays in one place, keeping your hand in one place. If you remember that, that's, that'll get you a long way. And then remember to say the words, not the letters. Okay. So, the ABCs. Uh, I will help you with, with a little uh, mnemonic remembering device. Like, I'll say A, and I'll say it looks like an apple with a stem here. Okay, an apple with a stem. I have found that that helps a lot of people. Some people it doesn't help at all. If you're not one of the people that it helps, don't worry about them. Okay? So, A, like an apple. B, the thumb is crossing the, the palm of your hand. It's like, back off. Okay? C is the letter C. You can see it, right? But it's faced with the palm out. So C looks like the letter C. D looks like the letter D, if you see the circle and the stick. At the lowercase d. D and F get mixed up an awful lot. So the way you remember that is that the circle and stick make a D. E two ways to make an E. Every finger is on your thumb. E is in every, every finger is on your thumb. Uh, you can feel your fingernails on your thumb. The other way is to open it up a little bit. Either way is right. So either way is right. F, how are you feeling there? I'm feeling fine. It's a circle with these three fingers up. How are you feeling? Fine. All right. But the palm is out and it is stationary. It doesn't move. G. Again, there are two ways to make the letter G. The letter G in 49 states is G. It's kind of like H and it, it'll have your knuckles out instead of your palm. In Texas, the letter G is G. It has your palm out and it's like how much do you like grits? Just a little bit, okay? But you're pointing at the person. That's in Texas. Guess where I learned my signs? So if you see me do a G, it'll be like this. Whichever way you do G is fine. H. Two fingers down, knuckles out. That's the letter H. That's half of your fingers are 
being shown. So half of your fingers. H I looks like the letter I. If you think of this thing as that little finger as the I, and imagine a dot right here at the top. That would be an I. A J, well, if it looks it kind of looks like a letter I with a hook, right? So let's do an I with a hook. J. K. It's a little bit complicated, so make a peace sign too. And then move the center finger forward. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see a little bit better. And then take your thumb and touch the first knuckle. So, knuckle is for K. And again, the palm is out. All right. L looks like the letter L. M. I've got to remember my ABCs here. M. If you cursive, how many humps are on an M? One, two, three. One, two, three fingers laying over your thumb. And you can see the thumb sticking out here just a little bit. Okay? Now, that is a letter M. It's just like the number of humps in a cursive M. Uh, N has two humps, so N. Two fingers. O looks like the letter O, only the palm is out. P is K bent over to pick something up. So K is picking something up. Again, it's like finger forward, touch the knuckle, bend the wrist. Uh, well, PQ is like a Texas G pointed down with a bent wrist. G8, uh, uh, QR, you wrap one finger around the other. So you just kind of wrap them together like you're crossing your fingers. Okay? Or you wrap your fingers around, and I know the word wrap starts with a W, but the way I spell it works out just fine. Wrap. You RS, make a fist. Like you're going to punch somebody, but leave the thumb pointing facing forward. ST, you tuck your thumb under your first finger. So you just tuck it under your first finger. T. U, uh, like in Cub Scouts. V, looks like the letter V. W, looks like the letter W. Or 3. Uh, no, let's just stick with the, looks like the letter W. X, now I do my daily exercises. It's kind of just a hooked finger. Y, if you look at the whole arm, looks like the letter Y. And Z, you just draw Z in the air. Some people do it with a little finger. It's right either way. Okay? So that's your alphabet. What you need to do now is start practicing spelling your name, okay, and not make it be individual letters, and spelling the song that you're going to to uh, interpret for the scripture. Uh, won't be too much finger spelling at the beginning there. X. Oh, and by the way, there's no erasing. Everything is done in ink. X. Okay. Um, that's it for finger spelling. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Send me an email. Go on to the website, uh, that's how you can contact me, and there's a lot of other good information on the website as well. So, looking forward to seeing all of you at LTC. Good luck!